Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, good to see you again. Um, I've got something a little bit different, or I want to try something a little bit different today. I'm trying to think of new ways to make more content. And I thought I could have some videos that were my usual sort of how-tos, or having a look at some of the fish, or whatever that might be. And maybe have some other ones that were kind of fish and related things on the internet. Need to come up with a acronym or a better title than that. Not an acronym. So this is just an idea, maybe spread a bit of awareness of some maybe some channels that you don't know about or some things going on in the fish community um, that you can go and check out. So by all means, contact me on Facebook, join my Facebook group or Facebook page and let me know what you think or if there's anything that's going on that you'd like me to mention in future videos, I can stick that in there. Um, this is not the fish farm news that JH Aquatics makes. Uh, famous, um, if anything, a homage to that. Hopefully I'll have a bit of a different slant on things going forward. But anyway, let's move on to the big news this week. Joey, the king of DIY, has reached a million subscribers and passed a million subscribers. Well done, Joey. Um, if you're not aware of who the king of DIY is, go and check out his channel. He's a little man that makes or used to make DIY projects and has now moved on to a more of a, a vlog style entertainment type thing. Um, I've, I've made a video before which was deemed a little bit controversial where I said I don't really like Joey's stuff anymore. Um, so I'm not going to go into all that again because I can't be doing with dealing with all the comments from all the idiot fanboys and people that don't know any better. But yeah, I don't really need to say anything more about Joey other than exaggerates the size of everything, can't measure anything properly, definitely got small man syndrome, overstocks everything, promotes irresponsible and bad behaviour in the hobby by keeping the wrong type of and too many fish, really annoying laugh and mannerisms, makes more mistakes than someone who calls himself the king of something should ever make. But apart from that, he's brilliant. <laughs> the Emperor has no clothes on, and I just wanted to point that out. He still has some cool fish. He's got some great stuff that other people paid for. Um, so it's definitely worth checking out and having a look. What else have we got going on? Um, it's probably a bit older now, but we've got Aquarium Co-op and JH Aquatics and Dwayne Kitchell and Dean's Fish Room, I think it is. They all went to a, a Peru for a fish collecting uh, trip. And I think they've all put out videos now. Um, I'll try and link some of them down below in the comment. But there's some great stuff in there about where they collected uh, some fish from, wild fish from the rivers in Peru. And you get to see um, the places that the fish you buy in your local fish store, where do they come from and how are they living in the wild? And there's a few things in there, particularly one for me that stuck out was advice I'd always had about Corridoras was that they needed to be on sand substrate because they have the little barbels and if you have them in gravel, they can get nicks and cuts and lead to infections and then all kinds of other subsequent problems. But they were living in like shale and really sharp edged rocks. So there's always something to learn. Um, I found a few uh, channels that people might be interested in. There's a guy who's just started up a channel called it Simple Fish Life. He's got a huge, great big uh, tank with Oscar, Oscars, not Oscars, a huge, great big tank with discus and the silver arowana. Has looked at some earth eaters and just trying some things out. The uh, tank looks really nice. The fish look really good. Um, he's obviously just starting out and I've had a, a few conversations with him on Facebook um, where he's trying to grow his channel. So go and check it out. He's trying to get to 50 subscribers, so he is really brand new and I'm sure it'll make his day if we can get a few people clicking on some of his videos and checking them out. Another British YouTuber um, called Simply Shrimps. Um, I really need you to check out the, uh, the one video in particular is called um, My Worst Day in Fish Keeping, which I believe is part of a trend that's going around where people are challenging each other to make a video about their worst day in fish keeping. 
Um, so someone has challenged him to make his video and it, it's just brilliant. If you've got a certain sense of humour then you'll enjoy it. So go and check that out and keep an eye out for his smoking hot girlfriend that makes a, a debut in this video. Uh, it's worth it and you'll thank me later. Um, I'll try and get to three. I don't want to go more than three, three channels. Um, so we'll keep it British this week. Uh, and another one is more for the saltwater guys, but yes, yeah, starting to get into freshwater aquariums. It's called Aaron's Aquariums. He's been going for a while. I've been looking at it for a while. Um, he's got some. He's got one big massive tank he calls the Wife, which is a big reef tank, uh, and he's just starting up some freshwater and some planted tanks and moving into that sort of thing. But he's really enthusiastic. He's really enthusiastic. He's. Uh, got a good presentation style and you can tell that he's enjoying what he's doing um, so if you have any interest in any of those things please go and check out those ones down below and let me know what you think so come back and tell me in the comments and, and tell me whether it's a, a waste of time me carrying on doing this or whether you like this sort of thing if you have any interest in improving your photography skills or your video making skills and especially to do with fish there's a guy who is the editor for Aquarium Co-op, Jimmy. He has his own YouTube channel as well and some great videos on there to check out about how to edit your photos or videos and how to use certain softwares. He does lots of live streams and things like that. But there's also a Facebook group you can join um, where you can get lots of advice about how to improve your photography and share your photos and ask for feedback and things like that. It's really useful. Well, I found it really useful uh, and he's a really helpful guy. It's definitely worth a watch on his YouTube channel. He does other stuff as well. Um, it's like kind of travel and food and things like that, and as well as fish. But he's essentially a filmmaker that happens to be into fish as well. So check him out as well and see what you think. As always, I want to know from you what you think about this type of video and just think in general. Um, let me know in the comments what you think. Um, please, if this is your first time stopping by here, click that subscribe button and the notification icon, then you won't miss any more in future. But for now, I think we'll cut it off there, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. And if you are another Joy fanboy and want to start an argument with me, please don't bother starting it here. YouTube is rubbish at tracking comments and things like that, so I always miss it. So if you want to come and have an argument with me, by all means, seek me out on Facebook. You just look for the Aquarium Adventures group or page. You can come and hurl abuse at me all day long there if you want. Um, that's absolutely fine.